is up everybody will the outlaw here with another video review and uh today i'm going to be reviewing the uh dark knight movie masters uh two-face figure um now this guy is i don't know why but he is becoming increasingly harder to uh to, to find um actually um he used to be he was on sale at maddiecollector.com um he he is on sale at amazon although for like 25 30 bucks um and I was lucky enough to uh, to find this guy on uh, ToysRUs.com. Um, the line, the way that this guy comes in is available at my Toys R Us, but the only thing that's available is the uh, uh, original Harvey Dent uh, without the scars and everything. So I was very lucky to to be able to um, to find this guy online. Um, as you can see, the packaging is uh, pretty much the same as the other Movie Masters, uh, except this new wave uh, does not come with the uh, with the crime scene evidence. Um, as you can see, it's got a nice picture of uh, Harvey Dent back here, along with the co-cells of uh, Harvey Dent and the uh, uh, the jail joker with the uh, rocket launcher. Um, other than that, um, nothing nothing different. Um, I just really want to know why it took him so long to release a, a two-face figure, but um, you know, I'm glad it's it's available. So uh, let's go ahead and um, get this guy out and see what we got. So here is um, Two Face out of the package, and uh, <clears throat> like I say, he's uh, very nice. Uh, one of the nicer uh, uh, Movie Master figures out there. Uh, he does come with an accessory, which is the um, the two-sided coin, uh, one side which shows liberty, and the other side which is all scarred up and everything. Which I really, really like. I really dig this coin. Um, and, and what what really shocked me is the fact that. Uh, this coin is actually m made of some type of metal. Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of metal it is, but it's definitely metal. It's not plastic. Um, if you uh, don't know if you can hear that, but it's definitely uh, definitely some kind of metal, and it's very nice. It, it's it's. I wouldn't doubt it. This is an exact replica of the prop that they used uh, that uh, Aaron Eckhart actually used in the film. Um, I would not be surprised at all. And um, I really I really dig this uh, accessory. And I'm glad they were able to include it with a uh, real metal. Anyways, put that to the side. The figure itself, uh, the detail on this guy is very nicely done. Um, and uh, you know, his body is is the same as uh, I would say uh, the same as the Scarecrow, the same as the Gotham City Thug, uh, with the uh, with the coat and uh, you know the tie, which is uh, soft plastic. Um, his articulation uh, is pretty well done uh, the same as any other uh, movie master uh, and um, well the best part about this is the head sculpt um, as, as you can see he does have the, the nice side right here and then the, the burnt scarred side which the detail is just uh, really well done the molded in detail is is just outstanding and to make it even better is that they went in there and you know cut or uh, painted uh, all the little scar points and blackness and and all the little details in there um, and the eye and from what I see on my figure there's no uh, there's no uh, runaway paint or um, you know uh, missing paint apps or, or smeared paint apps or anything this is actually really well done um, the coat also is uh, it's the it's got this molded in singe to it and it's got these you know painted little flecks all over the place um, the flecks seem to be pretty random there's not really uh, uh, a, you know like like the paint is not not in the uh, in, in certain indented areas um, it seems to be pretty pretty random but uh, pretty nice uh, either way I, I liked how they were able to uh, uh, do the whole you know two-sided thing where this side is nice and this side is uh you know burnt they didn't go over the top they made it all realistic and and um you know i, I can really appreciate that um other than that really nothing much else to say uh, it's a pretty standard figure um you know uh the two faces is, is definitely um one of the um top villains in the batman uh, movie universe uh, i really like what aaron eckhart did with it and um this figure is is definitely uh, worth a pickup if you can find it uh, to uh, complete your um, Batman movie collection, movie masters collection. So um, yeah. So bottom line, this Two Face figure is definitely a welcome, if very late addition to the Dark Knight movie masters line. 
uh, the detail, the presentation, and the awesome coin accessory is not only up to par with the rest of the line, but this figure is one of the best representations of Two-Face to ever be produced. Even though this figure is getting pretty hard to find, uh, if you're looking to complete your Dark Knight collection, this one is absolutely worth tracking down. So uh, there you guys go. Hope you all enjoy it and take it easy.